No, far from it. I was named after a swimming pool. There is a swimming pool named Pi? <laughs> you see, my uncle Francis was born with too much water in his lungs. They say the doctor swung Francis around by the ankles to clear the water out. And that's what gave him the huge chest and skinny legs that made him such a great swimmer. Is Francis actually your uncle? He said he was friends with your father. Oh, he's my honorary uncle. I call him Mama Ji. My father's best friend, my swimming guru. I trained with him three times a week at the ashram. His lessons would save my life in the end. A mouthful of water will not harm you, but panic will. Remember to breathe now. Don't hold your breath. Good boy. I hope you don't mind vegetarian. No, no, not at all. And your name? Huh? You were going to tell me how you got your name, I think. Oh, yes, I got it from something Mamaji once told my father. You see, most travelers collect postcards or teacups on their journeys, but not Mamaji. Mamaji collects swimming pools. He swims in every pool he comes upon. One day, Mamaji said to my father that of all the pools in the world, the most beautiful was a public pool in Paris. That the water there was so clear, you could make your morning coffee with it. That a single swim there changed his life. Before I was born, he said, if you want your son to have a clean soul, you must take him one day to swim in the piscine Molitor. I never understood why my father took this so much to heart, but he did. And I was named the piscine Molitor Patel. Imagine me trying to explain that name. I barely made it to the age of 11 before With one word, my name went from an elegant French swimming pool to a stinking Indian latrine. I was pissing everywhere. No pissing in the schoolyard! <laughs> Even the teachers started doing it. Not deliberately, of course. So then, what might occur if we release gas too quickly? Pissing. When we returned the next year for our first day of school, I was prepared. Listen, sir. Piscine Patel. Good morning. I am Piscine Molitor Patel. Known to all as Pi, the 16th letter of the Greek alphabet, which is also used in mathematics to represent the ratio of any circle's circumference to its diameter. An irrational number of infinite tenth, usually rounded to three digits, as 3.14 pi. Very impressive. Pi, now sit down. R. Velusami. And from then on, you're a pi? Well, no, not quite. Nice try, PC. <laughs> But I still had the whole day ahead of me. French class was next. Jamapel Piscine Molitor Patel. Did Pi. Then geography. These are the first 20 decimal places of Pi. My last class of the day was mathematics. Slowly, 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 slowly. really doing this. By the end of that day, I was Pai Patel, school legend. Um, Mamaji tells me.